This is the <coughs> pelvis of a 35 years old Paris female in reproductive age. You are seeing the transfer section of the uterus and is surrounded by fluid. This is the uterus in transfer section. This is the endometrial canal. It measures 4.3 centimeters and is surrounded by uh, ascitic fluid. This is the longitudinal section of the uterus. This is the longitudinal section measuring 7.2 by 3.6 centimeters. This is the urinary bladder and this is the ascites. Uh, <coughs> this is the ascitic fluid and uh, this area be appears bright because of reverberation artifacts. Otherwise, this is a clear fluid. Now, this is the endometrial canal, central clear, no focally and seen. Now, when I uh, move the probe towards the right at Nixon, I see a mass complex with cyst ecogenic mass with internal cystic areas and it extends into the up to the right lower abdominal quadrant. You can see that the, uh, or otherwise you can, uh, we, I can also report it in a way that uh, uh, this there is a mass ecogenic at the periphery with a salt with cystic elements uh, seen in the center and along the posterior margin. Now this is the central uh, cystic area, fluid filled area. These are the posterior wall. Uh, fluid filled area where you can see uh, a strong back wall because of this fluid and uh, this is the ecogenic part <coughs> bright these bright echoes are the ecogenic part of this uh, mass which measures approximately 10 <coughs> by 6 centimeters 10 by 6 centimeters Here we see, yeah, now, this is the uterus, this is the urinary bladder, and this is the boundary of the mass, this outer, this is the outer margin, media, lower, <coughs> and cystic area. No significant Okay, posterior wall acoustic enhancement is uh, seen at places, but in general there is uh, <coughs> posterior wall acoustic enhancement is because of this fluid part within and within this solid element, never a solid mass, complex mass, and. Uh, which is not only in the central region, but can also be seen at the periphery. This is the periphery, uh, posterior wall of this <coughs> mass. And here we see posterior wall enhancement. <coughs> there is no calcification so far seen. So the tubular shape Ecogenic mass with internal cystic area and no calcification seen extending from the region of the right adenexa up to the lower uh, abdominal quadrant and uh, this is the main pathology that we come across. The uterus is otherwise normal and the ascites is because of chronic liver disease, uh, cirrhotic liver. Now, 
this is the liver. Shows uh, chronic liver primer changes. Outer surface is yet smooth, not that uh, irregular that we see in cirrhotic liver. So this is early stage of uh, cirrhosis. This is the <coughs> portal vein. No evidence of paraiotic plan adenopathy. Kidney spleen is normal. However, there is fluid in the Morrison's pouch as well as the paracolic gutters, both paracolic gutters. This is uh, the one that will come across, and uh, this is the fluid in the right para uh, left paracolic gutter. These are the ionic vessels. And on this side, you do see ascitic fluid. Now, this is uh, the ascitic fluid, not the urinary bladder. This is the urinary bladder, and this is the ascitic fluid. And here you can see impression of uh, three major organs, uh, uh, two major organs, one the, this is the <coughs> urinary bladder, sorry for the cuff, this is the uterus, this is the endometrial canal and this is the mass and this is the posterior wall enhancement from it. This is small amount of fluid seen in this location, this is also echocardial fluid seen in the pelvic cavity. This is the case of the day.